Okay, just a quick look at our user interface that we have here. It's very clean, it's very simple and very minimalistic in SketchUp. So we just have our toolbar here on the left side and you see some tools, they have those little arrows beside them, which means that there are more tools behind those which are similar. So you have, for example, not only the straight line, but you have this very wild, crazy freehand line. And this is the case with other tools as well. So this toolbox is quite powerful, but you have all the tools hidden behind other tools. Then on the right side, you have another panel here, which lets you go into the 3D library, for example, the 3D warehouse, or you have a mentor, it's instructor, where you can get some help. You see some how you how you should use a tool for example now the tape measure tool you can always look into the instructor panel here to get some extra information on the tools or on how to build something in sketchup and much more that we're going to discover throughout the course and on the bottom here you have a very important line well first of all you have another help menu here you can go to the help center you have the menu for changing your language very quickly and then you have this panel here where you can sw switch between the mouse and the trackpad. In case you are somewhere you don't have your mouse with you, you just have your trackpad. Well, if you click here, then your navigation is optimized for the trackpad and you should use this in case you don't have a mouse. But let's go back to the mouse. Okay, this line here is very important because it's, it tells you what a tool can do. So for example, if I go to the line, and it says click to set first endpoint and we click and then it says click to set second endpoint and we click and now we have a line. And also it says something about the additional functions of the tool. So whenever you select a tool for the first time, you should check out this line and see what this line tells you. And finally, we have this measurements indicator here. So whenever you're drawing something, you see now it displays the length of the line here, for example, or if you are making a rectangle, it shows the, the two dimensions of the rectangle and you could enter something. You don't click on the box if you want to, want to enter a dimension, but you just say 5,000 comma 5,000 millimeters. Now we have made this square here, but let's select and delete it once again. 